The boy scientist father gave him a mechanical bracelet for his birthday. Looking at his son's bleeding arm, the father was calm. He said the bracelet could not be taken off but would be of great use to him in the future. After a brief explanation, the father turned around and left the world. Soon the year 2067 rolled around and Ethan grew up to be a maintenance man for the largest oxygen company in the city. Ethan works hard every day to buy his sick wife a quality oxygen mask. As the earth was on the verge of collapse, all plants had almost disappeared and oxygen became the planet's scarcest resource. Survivors relied on a kind of oxygen mask to survive. But there's a big disadvantage to this kind of thing. If you breathe it in for too long, you'll get a serious lung disease. The survival of mankind is at stake. Until one day, the boss suddenly approached Ethan and told him that he might be able to save all of humanity. Ethan was puzzled and then the boss took him to his lab where there was a machine that could connect him to the future. Just a few days ago, they received a message from 400 years from now with Ethan's name on it. They thought that if humans had survived 400 years, they must have found a cure for the oxygen disease, so they decided to send Ethan there. But with the machine's current capabilities, it can only transport one person one way and they haven't found a way to get back yet. Ethan was already hesitant to go, so the boss started brainwashing him. You might be humanity's only chance. You might be your wife's only chance. These words moved Ethan a little bit. He did not know why the future chose him and did not know how many dangers in this trip. For the sake of his wife, he still made the choice. But the condition is that if there is an antidote, his wife must be the first to use it. The boss agreed. Then he puts on a protective suit and is transported 400 years into the future by a time machine. He opened his eyes and was shocked by what he saw. The sun was shining. The vegetation was lush. But there was no one there. Ethan was puzzled and followed the satellite cell phone to an experimental facility. At the entrance, he saw the remains of a human body which he initially judged to have been killed by a gunshot wound to the head. As he continued to look, he realized that the name on the body's lapel was his own and that the body also had a bracelet on its wrist. But the red light had turned green. To find out what happened, he found the Rex satellite cell phone and asked it to play back the last record. The replay starts with two people arguing and ends with a gunshot. After listening to it, Ethan couldn't believe he'd already been here once and been shot.